What's going on everybody? I am the goods on YouTube. I am back. All my guys on PC, let's get back into this mining. Today we're gonna tackle some tattoos. You guys been asking. Hey man, show us the tattoos. How you do tattoos? All right, so a couple things you guys are gonna need. You're gonna need a reference photo of the tattoos. You can just go on Google and find whatever tattoos you wanna add. All right, next you're gonna need the folder for testing the arm skin textures and tattoos. Link down in the description. You will see me reference that folder a few times in this tutorial. You'll also need Blender 3D. It's a free program, so you guys just search Blender 3D. Now, currently 2.82, I believe, is the current version, but you can use 2.79, which is what I'm gonna use in this video. You will also need to have 7-zip in order to move files into the actual Cyberface or PNG.if file. So, if you guys are familiar with all of this stuff, then you probably know what you're doing. If you're not, you probably need to watch some of my old videos or just, you know, get yourself more educated about what goes into the Mahdi. But you're also gonna need Photoshop or another image editing program that allows you to save as a DDS format texture. Uh, I recommend you get Louis Hook. I'll have the link down in the description for you guys. And you can, you can get 2K17 or um, Explorer or 2K19 File Explorer if you want. It's not necessarily something you have to have, but I've done videos on those and what they do in the past. Let's jump into this video. All right, guys, kicking off this video. So let me explain what we're gonna be doing. Like we're gonna have like these regular skin textures for arms, chest, or whatever. Then we're gonna add tattoos like this. Now I'm focusing on the mellow ball tattoos today. So as you can see here, I've actually added a tattoo, but I just did that in Photoshop and didn't really add it. So we've got his wrist tattoos. We've got his, um, not only his wrist tattoos, but his chest tattoos. And this is the cyber face that I made for him in game. I've got to get these tattoos on here today so that I can release this cyber face for you guys. And I'm also going to have a different version where he has his haircut or whatever. Um, yeah, so let's move on from these photos now that we've viewed his tattoos. All right. So one of the things that's going to become very important uh, I said it will be link number one down in the description is this folder 2k20 default skin textures now for right now I only have the chest uh, chest and arm skin textures from the game but we're going to cover that folder in just a second right now I'm opening up my blender 3d program I'm using version 2.79 I have uh, a newer version 2.82 but once they switched to 2.8 they changed a lot of the layout so right now what I'm going to do is open up this 3d model right here and that's that folder that I showed you back on the uh, desktop that one right there so I'm going to open that folder in blender which I've done and I'm going to the 3d model and then I'm going to click on the chest and arm 3d model and click open blender file once it is open you should see something like this now if you look over to where my cursor or um, arrow is you see his name high head you see you know everything's highlighted and selected um, let's see we are in the I think this is like the object let's see yeah we're in the object data menu or viewing pane or whatever you want to call it down at the bottom we're gonna have two different UV maps you may not know what they what UV maps are but if you look on the right there it just it's just gonna map out where the texture is gonna be displayed I don't know if I explained that well or not but um, anyway the UV maps will be very important to this process. So we're going to use both UV maps. And what I'm going to show you is down here where my arrow is now, you can open an image. So now we're going to open an image. We've already opened the 3D model. So we're going to go back to that folder that that we that is so important. And I'm going to pick one of these skin tone folders. I'm picking skin tone seven. I'm opening up that texture click open image and as you can see it is applied now if 
if it's not showing correctly you have to make sure the UV map is on map zero now what I'm going to do is show you guys this is where 7-zip comes into play I'm going to show you guys how I knew which skin tone I would need for LaMelo Ball so using 7-zip here is the file that I have for LaMelo Ball I'm actually inside of the png.if file for LaMelo Ball inside of each png cyberface um, file there'll be an appearance info.rdat file that file will tell you the skin tone of the player um, that you are looking up so I'm dragging that file to my desktop and then I'm going to open up notepad plus plus um, you don't have to open up notepad plus plus just to view it but I recommend it um, skin color seven as you can see here it says skin color seven so if you remember back in blender I opened up skin tone seven the texture for skin tone seven so that's what I'm going to use it says skin color seven I'm using skin tone seven so now that we've got that out the way let's get back to blender okay so now we are back in blender and as you can see, like I said, we got the skin texture seven applied to this 3D model. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna zoom out. So if you see my arrow or cursor or whatever you wanna call it over here on the right screen, I am holding control, holding my middle mouse click and scrolling back at the same time. That allows me to zoom out. Now I'm going back to the left side. As you see down here, I'm going to object mode. Now I can view the texture as it is applied to this 3D model. Um, if I hold down that middle mouse click button and just move my mouse around, it allows me to rotate the entire thing. If I press the number five on my number pad, uh, I go in and out of diff uh, the two different view types. If you press con uh, control one, I believe, then it will give you a straight on view of the body these are all on the number pad so yeah use that number pad play around with it you guys need to get familiar with the shortcuts if you are unfamiliar with it all right i went into edit mode now i'm on the right side you see me clicking these uv maps these are called uv maps these basically map out the texture and apply it to the 3d model according to um you know how the model is laid over the texture in this right side window so as you can see map one map looks just like um, the left side so I'm going to open up an image I'm actually let's see going to get started I'm going to get started right now I'm going to open up this chest image of this lamello ball chest tattoo and um, as I'm scrolling out here, you can see it doesn't fit up right. Um, the, the 3D model is not showing correctly over the chest on the left side. So, as you can see here in this picture, he's kind of turned just a little bit at like a, a small angle. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that's not a straight on view. And our 3D model is right now straight on. So what I'm going to do, let's see, hold on, going back into object mode. All right, I'm going back into object mode so I can kind of rotate. So I'm rotating. And you can use your, your number pad buttons to kind of figure out how you want to rotate this thing. But for me, I'm going to I set it up straight right here. And then I rotate it just once to uh, whatever this angle is. Now I'm going back into edit mode. Now I've got to go back over to my... I went to map zero, but now I'm going back to map one. I'm going to come over and press U. If you press the letter U while you're on the left viewport. So hold on one second. All right. So hover your mouse over the left side viewport while you're in edit mode. Okay. You can press A to make sure you got everything selected. Press U. And then we're going to come down to where it says project from view. Project from view. Going to click that. And as you see, the right side changed. Uh, it changed to match up to what we have over here. 
So what I'm going to do is go back over to the right side, press S, and that allows me to scale. S is for scale. Press S again. I just clicked off of it. Press S, drag my mouse, and then whenever I want to stop, I just click. All right. And then now I'm pressing G to grab this and move it around. I'm trying to align the chest and make it match up with, um, you know, how, how the tattoo should be displayed over on the chest. Now, if you look on the left side, it'll show you what it's going to look like. And if you look on the right side, it's just you trying to line things up. So I'm going to take a second, go back to object mode. Don't worry about like the arms and stuff. Let's just focus on the chest area. As long as the chest area is good, then we are good. All right, I think I want it to come out a little further. Go back into edit mode, then come back over to the right side. I'm going to mess around with the scale a little more. If I make it smaller, then the tattoo stretches further on the chest. You can also kind of rotate this right side, tilt it if you need to. But I'm pressing G to grab this and move it around. I mean, you just press G once and then do whatever you got to do with your mouse and then click it and then you'll be out of grab mode. All right, I'm just kind of viewing, lining things up, seeing if seeing if it looks right in object mode. I'm using object mode to kind of give me a better idea preview wise. Now, the players, the back, back here, I'm actually going to remove that back. I'm going to go into edit mode. <clears throat> I'm going to deselect everything by pressing A. Again, this is Blender 2.79. So things will be a little bit different in 2.8. Be the overall same type of thing. But some of the buttons and stuff that you push will be different. All right. So now I'm just, I had press C. Um. And now I'm just like selecting some of the vertices, as you can see. And then I press delete and enter. And oh, it took away a part of his chest. Let me press control Z. Um, all right. Now when I press B, oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. When I press C and then sh hold down shift and click over those three chest vertices, uh, it deselected them. And then I was able to delete again, and it deleted just the back. Because that was kind of throwing me off, that back. It's throwing me off. I don't want that back part to show up in this preview. Again, the, the 3D model on the left is not going to be the 3D model that is used on your player. This is only for preview purposes. The only thing we're going to, we're not going to save that 3D model is what I'm saying. So we can manipulate it however we want. The only thing that we're going to use from doing all of this is the texture the tattoo texture not any of the 3d model because i already have my 3d model and it's separate so i'm showing you guys how to do this tattoo stuff how to view it this is just one way of doing it um you can do it strictly in photoshop or whatever your image editing program is without even touching blender to line things up once you start to know where things are located on the texture you can just use Photoshop. You don't even have to come in the blender to make a tattoo. But anyway, if you have a player where you really want to align, align their tattoos, then this is the best way to do it. All right, so now we're going to get over to texture paint. We're going to go to texture paint. Um, we're going to go where it says slots. And then we're going to choose an image. Now at the top it says painting mode. Make sure you're in image and not material so we're in image and then canvas image we're just going to select um actually we need to create we just need to create a new canvas image to be honest we don't need to use any of those so i keep hovering over them but we're not going to use any of those we're going to create a new one uh you make the uh dimensions like it should be the same width and height you can make it however big you want. All right, click OK. So it's all black. Make sure you have the brush 
the brush we want selected is clone and then we're going to choose clone from image now this uv map thing is just um the uv map don't worry about that for it, it has to go with whatever image you want to clone so i just selected the chest image and that chest texture is mapped over map zero the uv map map zero so that's that's what makes it come out correctly i i hope you guys really understand what i'm talking about if you don't understand this stuff it just takes a little getting used to um if this is your first time starting out with blender ooh, it's gonna be tough all right so if i want to select uh map one see if i selected map one now i know the chest now i'm going to do the chest tattoo and that um over on my right side i need to go back to map zero because that's the final result i want my final result mapped over map zero but on the left side over here you see my chest tattoo is not mapped to map zero it's mapped to map one so on the left side i choose map one uh it's really hard to explain i'm not a professional i am i mean i'm i'm not even really that good at using blender to be honest so i'm just trying to explain the best way i know how all right so i'm trying to put this tattoo over here all right the nipples do not align but that's fine that i don't care about that part i just want the tattoo Let's see what we can do So I'm just, you know, holding down my, my mouse button and basically painting this tattoo on to the chest. And don't worry about the discoloration or the colors not matching up. We're going to make that match in Photoshop. That's what we're going to do. All right. So again, if you're very new to this, Ugh, you might want to you, if you're new to blender you may want to watch old tutorials see this is an older version of blender so there should be plenty of tutorials on blender 2.79 and you can even go back and watch some of my 2k17 let's mod uh, videos I have a whole playlist for that anyway you can save this image on the right side where it says image click that and then you can click save as image and I'm just gonna save it you know uh, I need to save it to my desktop but as you can see here I'm not doing that so I, I'm gonna have to remember where I save this I know I'm gonna forget so just watch in a second <laughs> when I go to find this texture that's showing on the right side when I go to find that, I'm going to forget where it is because I should have saved it to the desktop, but all right, that looks pretty good, man. I like that. looks pretty good. The discoloration is there, but that's going to be changed, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's go to edit mode. When we go to edit mode, it looks like everything has disappeared, but don't worry about that stuff. What we do in different modes really shouldn't affect the textures so that's see as you can see this chest texture is mapped over the uv map map one on that right side over there that's what i'm trying to show you guys so that's why i had to make certain selections on the left side over here the chest texture and source cone uv map map one stuff like that all right so i've forgotten where i saved the texture to let's see i told you guys i was going to forget i told you guys i would forget where i saved the texture i was supposed to save it on my desktop so i'm just going to go back to save as image okay there it is there it is it's in this folder so i'm not going to save anything I'm just going to go back there it is right there see all right so i'm going to drag that to my desktop actually and now it's time to get busy in photoshop and to be honest 
we're probably a little over halfway through the video or maybe I'm in Photoshop uh, don't worry about that picture we so I've pulled up the original chess dot dds file from the game from the skin tone 7 folder i opened that up in photoshop and now i'm going to drag this this texture that i just saved from blender over it and stretch it out and everything to match up with the real texture from the folder pack skin tone 7 it was inside the skin tone 7 folder all right, so now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to do whatever I need to do to get rid of all these black areas. So I'm going to kind of speed up the vid a little bit. And I'm just trying to figure out the best way to attack all of these black areas that I don't need. See, I'm erasing that tattoo part in the middle because that was not what I needed. I just need the part that shows up on the chest. Uh, messed up come back clean it up clean it up all right so we still got some little black lines that we need to get rid of i'm actually going to use the pen tool to uh kind of come over here and get these black lines out of the way if you don't know how to use the pen tool you might want to watch some tutorials you don't have to use a pen tool you can you just use a smaller eraser if you wanted to just zoom all the way in use a smaller eraser but I'm just going to use the pen tool to kind of get this crap out of here. Delete and erase some of these hard edges. All right. And see, now that's that's what the chest tattoo would look like. So now I'm actually what I'm doing right now is I'm just playing around with different settings so that I can get rid of the discoloration. Um, but what I should have done was make the photo black and white first before I started playing with these settings. So anytime you have a tattoo that you want to overlay that doesn't have color, I suggest just making it black and white. But I've duplicated the layer, as you can see. So that chest tattoo I have two layers of the chest tattoo and I'm just playing around with different settings to see what comes out the best but yeah I should have went and changed it to black and white since this is just a a tattoo with no color and it's causing some discoloration on the chest I'm just playing around with different settings this part is up to you how you attack it so go to image adjustments uh, where's black and white well, anyway, you go down. There it is. And then I select whatever you want. I'm just playing around with the different settings right now. I'm going to click OK for this. So it looks, the discoloration on the chest looks a little better. Make this other layer black and white. I did maximum black. Now I'm going to do maximum white. Huh? Maximum black. Maximum white. Mm, whatever. Alright, I'm going to... I need to get my eraser tool and just keep erasing some stuff. I'm going to merge... I merged those two layers together, but that doesn't look right. So I undid that. So like this part of the video, if you don't want to really watch me mess around with this, um, you can fast forward a little bit. So I'm just going to remove some of this discoloration. For the most part, this tattoo looks good. I'm just kind of nitpicking, to be honest. I'm just nitpicking. All right. All right. All right, I'm going to save this as a .dds file. Now, you have to have the DDS plugin. If you're using, I'm using the old version of, of uh, Photoshop. I have like two or 
I think two versions of Photoshop on this computer. But I'm renaming the file to be called chest underscore color underscore o dot lamello chest dot I mean lamello chest 2020 dot dds. And I'm going to press save. And now it now we need to get serious. We got to figure out, OK, what settings do we use? Well, I'm going to show you what settings to use real quick. Bear with me. I'm going to show you. Um, hold on. This is just a preview of the thing. All right, but it has the settings down there at the bottom. So for arm textures, we can save them as DXT1. Don't have to worry about the size. Save whatever size we want as long as it's a multiple of four. Um, but the mid maps should be 12. So look at this. Go to DXT1. No alpha. We don't want an alpha layer. This is the NVIDIA DDS plugin. Because there's two different types of DDS plugins. I actually saved it with just two mid maps instead of 12. Because if I save it with 12, it'll take longer to render and save or whatever. So I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, so let me find my file. It's just say chest color. There it is. Chest color. O dot lamello 2020. All right, so I'm actually going to uh, go to edit and open up that image that I just saved with the lamello tattoo image open. Go to desktop and find that dot DDS file. Where are you? There it is. Chest color. Oh, Lamello chest 2020. Clicked it. Let's go back to object mode. And there you see it. Now the skin texture does look a little darker than what you're going to see in game, but don't worry about that. He's, he's going to be the, this is the correct skin tone. I've already checked it all out. All right. So we got the chest tattoo. Actually, if you wanted to stop here in the video, um, hey feel free to stop here because this isn't a bad stopping point because i basically shown you what i do i've shown you my process i am going to go ahead and get the wrist uh, i'm going to continue the video and get the wrist tattoos on there but you don't have to stick around for that if you don't want to if you feel you've learned enough you can just go back and watch that part now in order to get the wrist tattoo you kind of got to move around the view around in this um, left viewing pane, which it can be kind of cumbersome because you have to do, you know, a whole bunch of clicking stuff like zoom in, zoom out, rotate the arm, stuff like that. But anyway, so let's get started. So now I'm back on the, uh, I'm go to UV map one, opened up an image of the wrist of the wrist because I have the wrist tattoos all right I'm, so what I'm trying to do now is kind of rotate the arm so that it matches up with the photo so I need the arm to be in an upright position kind of like that that's what I need and I told you guys it's kind of difficult when you're trying to do the wrist, at least the way I'm doing it is. All right, so back on the right viewport, I mean, on the left viewport, we do press the letter U, project from view, and then it, it'll change to match up with our view. So now I need to um, increase the size of the arm in the right view pane. So I don't know which tattoo goes on which tattoo, which hand it should be on, but in a second here, I'm going to use the thumb as a guide to tell me. So thumb is, thumb is on the right side. So when the thumb is on the right side, it should say God on that wrist. I'm looking at his wrist, but I keep wanting to call it an ankle. I don't know why. All right, so the thumb right here is on the right side. So we need to make the God tattoo on this hand. All right. At least I think. I think that's how it goes. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm over here pressing S to scale the arm on the right side and G to move it around. Now I'm going to have to do a lot of scaling just, to, just so you guys know. Mm, man, got to keep scale it, move it, scale it, move it, scale it, move it. All right, so now we can see God on the wrist area. Don't worry that it shows, you know, repeating pattern a bunch of times. We're not worried about that. We're just worried about does it show in the correct spot? It does. Now, I just pressed the uh, plus button over on UV maps. So that means it just create rewind that and look to the right side of your screen. You'll see me press the plus button. I'm actually now on map two for UV maps. And that's going to be for the other hand, the left hand. So I've rotated the body all around. I'm still rotating to get it in a good position. All right, I pressed U and click project from view. Again, I've got to scale and grab S for scale, G for grab. And I want to align. I want to make, see now I press R to rotate that arm in this screen on the right side. So I just want to get that fear tattoo on his wrist. See if I can get it. It's not going to line up perfectly like I want it to, but it should be fine. So I'm pressing R to rotate in this window kind of so I can get the arm even more upright. All right, so this is probably about as good as it's going to get. I'll try to move it around a little more. G to grab it and move it. R to rotate. S to scale. All right, so it's just not lining up perfectly like I want, which is fine. All right, I'm just going to do something like this. It is what it is. I'm trying to be a perfectionist here, but this can get quite annoying, to be honest. I'm trying to perfect everything. Again, I don't, you know, I really don't get paid for this. I mean, hmm, I could run an ad on this, on this video, but I mean, I probably will, but I don't get paid to actually make 3D models. Nobody's paying me for these. I don't sell cyber faces. I really haven't even made a good cyber face in a while. All right, so we're back in the texture paint mode. Um, again, when you go to texture paint, don't choose any of these as the canvas image when you're on slots. Don't choose any of those. Just choose new and click OK. And we're going to use UV map zero. OK, but when we go to tools, we're cloning from whatever our picture was. So I'm using map two and the. Source clone image is the wrist image and map two was the map that the left hand was mapped mapped against. So there I've got that. That tattoo is done basically. I'm just going to go to chest, which is the chest texture, which is mapped to map zero and clone from that real quick, just to kind of get a reference for the palm of the hand and skin color around the tattoo which I, I didn't even need to do that but I'm going to do it anyway alright okay so now I'm moving down I'm moving my view pressing control middle mouse click just kind of moving my view I'm going to map one and going back to the wrist as my clone, my source clone image, because map one with that wrist image was the right wrist, which should say God. <sighs> See, this is what I don't like. It's like really hard to get the angle that I need. As you can see, I'm trying to like move this around and rotate it and 
it's super hard to get those wrists trying to rotate it that's why I say I suggest you learn blender a little bit learn the shortcuts and that's why I'm doing it in um, don't worry about how it looks in object mode again don't worry about how the texture looks because we're going to change that texture in a little bit All right, so I'm just rotating it, but this is why I'm using Blender 2.79 because I would definitely have no idea what I was doing in 2.8 as far as like viewing things. 2.8 is more responsive. It's faster. It's um, the layout is nice. I just don't know where everything is or all the shortcuts on Blender 2.8. So that's why I'm using this. I'm just trying to get a good view so I can add this tattoo. All right, so go back to texture paint continue painting this tattoo back on all right that looks good i should have left it there but i keep going as usual see now i went into the palm and i shouldn't have did that i just should have cloned the tattoo part that i needed and left it at that but i always have to do more all right so i'm going to save this image so i'll go over to the right side say gonna click on image save image as like this time I'm definitely saving it to the desktop and here it is I drag it over here so I'm also going to overlay this um, over the over this texture in Photoshop and I'm going to do what I did last time I'm just going to get rid of all the little black areas th that I don't need which is everything that's in black I don't really need unless it's part of the tattoo so that's what I'm going to be doing here let me see, let me delete this. Oh, got a rasterized layer. All right, now I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit, see what I can do. I'm not gonna care as much about discoloration on this tattoo because it has some color. See, that part was in the palm. I should have erased the whole thing, but I, I need to see what it looks like now. Rename this layer to wrist and then I copied the layer now I'm just gonna mess around with some settings to see what makes it display the best I don't know what will this part you don't have to do guys you could have stopped already once the tattoo was you know on the texture but me I always try to go an extra step because I just gotta mess around with stuff All right, it's getting really close to time being time for me to go to work. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this. This is a long tutorial, but again, you could have stopped way earlier. Um, so many people ask me about this. Maybe I'll make another tutorial where I only make a tattoo. I mean, where I make a tattoo only using Photoshop. Most people are not gonna. I don't want to sit through 40 minutes of a tutorial, but all right. Anyway, I'm saving this as .dds again. Just gonna save over my my last file, which was called chestcolor.lamello chest2020.dds. Save. Click OK, and it should already have the settings that we had, which it does. I'll click save again. We, we don't want alpha information anyway, so that's okay. For the arm texture, we don't want alpha uh, alpha layer. All right, so I, I saved that .dds. Now I need to just go back to edit mode. Where am I doing? Oh, okay, so I, I just, I'm opening up the... Uh, the dot blend file again so I can start from scratch and I have all this stuff I right, go to open image all I did was just reload the uh, the dot blend file that original 3d model all right so I opened the image ah there it is oh man see the palm 
of the right hand looks terrible so I'm gonna fix that that's an easy fix in, in uh, Photoshop since I still have that texture up all right and on the other side all that I have to do is just the word fear like part of it is like misaligned a little bit but that's okay it's not a tough fix at all that's actually not a bad not a bad job at the very beginning of the video I showed you guys how the tattoos came out and so probably gonna do that again now nah, I won't I don't know what I'll do all right let me just go back into Photoshop and fix this texture uh, merge those layers and then get the eraser tool and that was the palm so I erase that part off the palm and then here's the bottom of that fear tattoo I'm just gonna scoot it to the left a little all right I scooted it to the left all right so now I'm just gonna save this again but basically I'm, I'm nitpicking again I'm nitpicking I, I really only needed to erase that texture off the palm but whatever again saving it as DXT1 with no alpha so it doesn't matter that the alpha information will be lost we press OK it saves and then we're just gonna I'm gonna show you how to reload an image if you already have it loaded in blender go to you see, if you look at this, you can see it's kind of misaligned. So just go to image and reload image if it's the same image. And as you can see, it changed. That lined up a little better. You'll be able to tell that it changed once I come over here. See, it's, it's not on the palm anymore. All right, so hmm, I'm missing a little bit of this God tattoo. Some of the clouds I'm missing, but I don't care at this point. Looks good enough. I got to stop nitpicking and just go with it so that I can get this out. And so you guys can have it. I got to stop nitpicking. All right, so that's it, man. So now I'm going to show you guys. Um, I need to show you guys. That's how you make the tattoo. But now you have to actually put it inside of the Cyberface file. So let me just straighten up. Well, kind of move some stuff around my desktop real quick. And I'm going to do the final step where I take that texture right there. And I put it inside the png.if file. So I'm going to open up the png.if file, this one right here, in, in um, 7-zip. So as you can see, that, that Lamello had no tattoos, okay? I actually need to get that Lamello back. I don't know. No tattoos. All right. So it's it, it, the one I'm going to edit. It's gonna be this this one right here and all I have to do is I have to drag again it's gonna be this one so I double clicked it and now I'm inside of that file um, I'm gonna drag that texture into the PNG if click yes All right, so I dragged the texture in there, but I need a set of instructions that tells the game to display that tattoo texture. So here's the one from Skin Tone 7 from our little folder pack. I'm going to copy that to my desktop because that's the instructions. So it says chest color O dot texture TXTR. I'm going to open that up in 7 zip. And all I need to change is down there at the very bottom where it says binary. It has the name of the file that you're going to tell the game to um, open up to display the tattoo. So I click, click, I'm going to go over to my texture, click it, and then press F2. That'll allow you to select the name of that file. Press Control C, 
to copy it. Then come over here in Notepad++, delete that, and then press Control V to paste in the file name that you want. Chess color old oh, mellow. All right, so now as you can see, it's saved. It's there. So these instructions I drag over inside the png.if. Also, click yes. All right. So now I'm going to go into that same Lamello ball and he should have tattoos now. So let's take a look and see what we got. He has tattoos. All right. So maybe you don't like this Lamello, but it doesn't matter. It's the one that I made. Maybe you say, hey, that doesn't look like Lamello ball. I don't care, man. <laughs> Just telling you, I really don't care. If you like it, Great, thank you. If you don't like it, great, thank you. You know? So, that's what it is. Alright, so, yeah. We got the tattoos. We got her face. You know, Lamella Ball's face is maturing. He's becoming older. It doesn't look quite the same as he did when he's a kid. Now, he doesn't look really look too much like how I have him here. But, man, you got to remember, I haven't done a, a real cyber face editing in, like, two or three years, man. And I never was great at it to begin with. I was just okay. Anyway, this looks good. We've done the tattoo now. I've taught you all of what I know about it to the best of my ability. Now you guys can go check out some of my shorter videos, okay? Go check out some more entertaining videos, something more than this. This little metal ball will be released soon enough. Um... All right, guys, I'm done talking. I'm tired of talking. Till next time.